All right, hello neighbors. Today we're doing Myeolchi Bokum. Myeolchi means anchovy and Bokum means stir fried anchovies. Now, uh, this panchan is labeled as meat panchan, which just means like um, first level or low level panchan. Not in terms of status or like, oh, you're low level. More like um, it's a very common dish. Back in the old school days, eating fresh beef or pork was a, a luxury. And so a lot of panchans were made by things that were readily accessible. So if you go to the sea, anchovies. I mean, that's just lift up a net. But nowadays, you know, we don't worry about not having enough protein. I mean, chicken, beef, pork, all of that is so cheap. So this meat panchan have become like less popular. As Koreans, we do grow up eating it. So I kind of like it for nostalgia. To preserve tradition and to bring meat panchan to the forefront a little bit, Here's how to make a delicious version of Myeolchi Bokum. Let's go! Every Korean mart, you're gonna find anchovies. There's different sizes. The big ones we use to make stock broth. There's like a medium sized one, which we use for this one. I think some of the older people like that. For me, I like this very small kind. It's more of this like chewing texture. You don't really taste uh, any fishy smell. Actually, this one is a very good quality. We're selling it on Gochjar and you can see that all of their bodies are intact. It's not like bulk processed. They do everything by hand. Another way you can inspect quality, just take a and it shouldn't smell too fishy. Of course, there's a slight smell of the fish, but not like pungent, all right? That means it's very old. Today, I wanna just do like a two-person serving, not too much, because I want you to taste it first. Let's do one full cup, and we could save the other half for a second batch if you wanna make any adjustments. And by the way, these anchovies are packed with calcium. You know, I was like lactose intolerant when I was young, so my mom would always tell me to eat a lot of this mjolchi bokum because I needed to grow. And then my favorite recipes, they include nuts. So today, uh, just get a bag of uh, mixed nuts, about one cup's worth. Some of these walnuts are pretty big, so I'm gonna just chop them up with a knife. All right guys, I like to add these nuts because they add a lot of protein to the mix. Don't chop them up too small, but just enough so that some of the big pieces are divided in half. Then we wanna flavor that oil before we add the anchovies. This is gonna help minimize any of the fishy smell, that garlic, so six or seven cloves. And for this recipe, instead of chopping it into very thin slices, I'm gonna just do it into chunks so that we have similar. Then we're gonna use one Cheongyang chili pepper. Here, if you don't have this, use half a jalapeno pepper. I'm gonna cut this ends off. Right, we can cut this into a cross and then cut into chunks. And then finally, our spring onion. Same thing, we want chunks. All right, and that's it, very simple. Let's get this on a medium low heat. Don't put any oil. We wanna toast our nuts. It just brings out their nutty flavor. All right, maybe just about a minute or two, a little bit of toasting, I like it. I'm gonna wipe the pan out with the towel. Now we're gonna just put a little bit of vegetable oil in, Let's put our garlic in. Whoops, a little green piece got in, it's all right. And we really want that oil to get flavored with that garlic. And once you start to see a light browning on the garlic, to put in our anchovies, just put them straight in and we're gonna toss them in that garlic oil. And soak it up and stir it around for three minutes. As you stir this around, that fishy taste from the anchovy, it's gonna fly away and that oil is gonna seep into the dried anchovy. It's gonna turn them nice and chewy and also crispy. All right guys, time to season. We're gonna add in half a tablespoon of soy sauce. Put that in. Half a tablespoon of sugar and then one tablespoon of mirin. Then mix everything around. And now you're gonna start to see that Myeolchi Bokum flavor. If you've had this as a kid, you'll recognize the dark color now. That's where you get it from. Now add the nuts, your chili peppers, and your spring onions. Those greens are gonna bring a little bit of lightness, some fresh taste, and then the nuts gonna bring that crunch. Now this is almost done. All we need, we're gonna do two tablespoons of honey and two. And then mix that all together. I'll finish off with half a tablespoon of sesame seeds. 
my gosh, doesn't it look beautiful? <laughs> All right, and there it is. The classic Myeolchibokgum meat banchan. Very nice. Those chopped nuts. Oh, these are just wonderful almonds. Then the chili peppers and then the garlic. Now, if you see this at restaurants, they're not going to get this fancy. They don't often add the nuts. They just use dried anchovies. And uh, I don't think it tastes that great. But when you add all of these together, amazing. All right, guys, and this panchan, it's supposed to be a little bit sticky like this. Put it over your rice. I'm going to get an almond on there. Oh my God. Incredible. Mm. The anchovies, they're brittle, but they have still a bit of a chew on them. The nuts, they're roasted. They're nutty. They give that that crunchy taste, then a little bit of spice from the chili peppers, and then of course the garlic. I mean, this is like Myeolchibokum taken to the next level, guys. I'm gonna have to say it, I'm not, when you come to Korea, I'm gonna have to teach you how to make Myeolchibokum, this 2.0 version. The one you gave me younger, it helped me grow, but I, I didn't like it. 